Ken Parks says that research is ongoing to see how climate change, including rising wind speed, is affecting flora and fauna here in Singapore. It's part of efforts to protect vulnerable species from rising temperatures and sea levels. It has also stepped up checks on trees in anticipation of stronger gusts. This comes after recent climate projections from Singapore's third national climate change study. And Chloe Chu tells us more. Trees falling and branches flying around. Possible dangers that come with stronger winds. One climate scientist says even though it might mean breezier days, there are hazards, especially in a green city like Singapore. One of the solutions to the climate crisis is creating more green spaces and it is the very solution that is being undercut by the climate impact in this case of greater wind speed. So um, in the case of uh, parks, uh, there is as simple and direct impact as uh, falling trees uh, to the very layout of the parks, the design of the parks so that critical services are available at higher altitudes. Dr. Thomas says this could mean putting more boots on the ground to keep an eye on the trees to catch the warning signs early. Ann Park says it has made its tree monitoring program more robust. Measures include regular inspections and pruning. It also uses technology to detect any abnormalities in the trees sooner. And while the trees need minding, the concrete jungle cannot be neglected as well. Tall structures, including high-rise buildings, must also be built to stand against the winds. It's a resilience to winds uh, that are at much faster gusts uh, need to be addressed in terms of structures, materials. Simply put, engineers need to work hand in glove with climatologists to see how various degrees uh, of uh, intensity of winds can be withstood. Latest climate projections in Singapore have said that wind speed is likely to increase by up to 20% by the end of the century. Daily maximum wind gusts are also expected to go up. But as I find out, these forecasts haven't necessarily translated to what's being felt on the ground in recent years. One sea sports centre at East Coast Park says this could be because even though the wind is stronger, it's more erratic. Ten years ago, we were actually getting more constant and better wind in our coast area. This year is considered very bad compared to last year. If let's say one week there's four days of wind, this year one week maybe have one or two days of wind. Instead, the business says breezier days will be a welcome respite. For wind-powered um, equipment, it's actually a better thing. So you get more wind, get more, power, more, more, more fun, it actually go more faster. Meanwhile, Mr Ong says the centre will continue to adjust operations to keep customers safe should stronger winds reach our shores.